There are unusual conspiracies surrounding Archie's christening portrait. Some social media users have claimed the picture is not as it appears. On Cora, royal watchers think that the Queen and Prince Philip meeting Archie photo was photoshopped. Sue Kelly said, This photo is fake. Her Majesty was wearing that exact outfit at Royal Windsor Horse Show. She and Prince Philip were looking at a foal and it was superimposed onto that photo. Her Majesty the Queen would have worn something much more noteworthy to an attendance of shore viewing. However, others disagree with the crazy conspiracy, with one saying, The Queen used that photo in the video highlights during her Christmas speech that year. There's no way she or the palace would have used a photoshopped photo that created a scene that didn't happen. Deanna Eppers on Cora pointed out that the mysteries surrounding the children of Harry and Meghan, she said, When Meghan introduced Archie to the world, why did she limit the number of cameras and press? The fame addict would have had every news outlet there if things weren't so questionable. When she and Harry presented Archie, they didn't let the cameras get a good look. The baby didn't move or make sounds, and newborns do all the time. Plus, Harry's thumb was white from digging into the baby's body to make it breathe, apparently. There was no christening of Archie on the date posted. The Archbishop of Canterbury was at a synod meeting all day, far away on the date of Archie's supposed christening. He wasn't there, and the photo is photoshopped big time. Anyone with an eye for detail can see where Meghan messed up the photo. Why isn't the Archbishop coming forward and saying the date was a lie? Why aren't the real royals who were dropped into the photo saying it was a lie? What is going on here? Why doesn't anyone call out Harry and Meghan on the discrepancies? There are so many questions and no answers being given about Archie and Lilibet. Oprah could redeem herself if she had a show where she asked specific details about these children who remain in the line of succession without proof of them being delivered by Meghan and not a surrogate. So much mystery surrounds the Sussex children and no answers are forthcoming so who knows what's really going on. At that time, some social media theorists claim Archie's photo received a substantial amount of post-editing, and that among other things, Meghan's ring is bigger in the photo than in real life, Catherine's chair legs are missing, Camilla's dress has been altered, Doria's face appears to be cropped, Catherine appears flat and mannequin-like, and Prince William's head is misshapen. Some internet detectives claim William is far too tall in Archie's photo, and towers above Father Charles. Others claim Will's head of hair appears thicker and more voluminous. Can you blame a guy for having a good hair day? Still, other online commentators say Will's appears pixelated while some claim his expression was one of strain and disdain. There was some confusion about Catherine and William's fashions in the official photos as both appeared to arrive in different frocks for the christening. While completely normal to change clothes or have an outfit change for official portraits, some thought this was a sure sign of royal shenanigans. Some media outlets were quick to discover the clock in the photos shows a time of 11.54am. Archie's photos were released four hours later as promised, but theorists were already making mountains out of molehills. Some claimed William drove his Audi into Windsor Castle grounds around noon, but other media outlets said it was actually in the morning, as expected, and little Archie was christened at 11am. 